national challenges around fostering and to try and encourage more working people to become foster carers. The foster network has called upon employers to become foster friendly. As part of the Apparent Before the report, we've set up uh, each of the widow contacts. So there's probably 787 children and the people looked after by the Widow Work Council with the 604 in foster care. Part of the national push is to encourage more people to become foster carers.
financial strategies where they identify the value volunteering in our community. And there's a, a volunteering strategy in the development which will be constructed for cabinet in June, uh, which recommends that employees consider um, supporting volunteer, uh, employees to volunteer. Rural Council therefore has an opportunity to lead by example and commit to this approach and encourage partners in the rural case organisations to adopt the same approach. The range of benefits associated with volunteering is I'm sure you can be aware of, which is set out in section 1.5.1 of the report. Um, and as with the previous reports, it's important that the council leads by example with partners and other organisations in promoting uh, this approach. The proposal for committee is that um, employees who commit to volunteering in the community may be supported up to a maximum of two days per 12 month period, and this may be increased to a maximum of five days in the 12 month period before retirement. The committee requested to approve the approach approach to support employee volunteering outlined in the report, to approve the volunteering policy uh, and to the report, and to delegate authority to the Assistant Director of Human Resources and Organisational Development to develop, approve and implement the associated protocols <coughs> if necessary to give effect to the volunteering policy, including the spirit of that policy. Yeah, um, I mean again, I, I think this is an excellent policy. It follows on the
So I just wanted to make a comment on that. 